So catchy. Yes. Just completely yeet it away. Yes, yes, so hell is here. I'm wearing this because it's cold. I'm ill. But that does not stop us from reacting to music and discovering new music. Today, we have another song by Crow, the German rapper, and this one is called Einmal um die Welt, which means once around the world. Now, this was recommended to me on my previous reaction, I'll leave the card to that up here, by a super fan, it seems, who took the time out of their day to leave this comment, I'll let you pause it and read through it, but he basically explains how Crow came to be in his history and a bit more about him, so feel free to read that. I really appreciate comments like this, you know, they're great to see and I love to engage with them. So, without further ado, I think let's get straight into this one. The previous reaction, Easy, I thought was very cool, very funky. And this is a lyrics video where we have the lyrics in English and German. Okay. Okay, this one. Now, I don't know it, but I know this chorus. I studied German in school. Our German teacher, I remember he played this in a lesson and everyone thought it was an absolute bop. We loved it. It was just a chorus. But this is the song. This is the song. This is the song. Okay, okay. I mean, I think it's definitely still worth reacting to because I don't know how the rest of it goes and I certainly have never listened to the lyrics before. So it turns out, Crow, I did know, well, I've heard some of his music before. Wow, wow. Let's get into this once more. From the top. It's just catchy, isn't it? Tomorrow by the moon. Good lyrics, good lyrics. From what I'm seeing, this song is just like boom, full throttle, if you'll pardon the pun, because he's talking about plane. So energetic, full energy, just lyric after lyric after lyric. So let's just quickly unpack there what we've heard so far. First thing, that little guitar riff. Can you get more simple? On paper, no, you can't. Two notes. And it's just repeating. I noticed that with Easy as well, that there wasn't variety in it. It was just the same four bar or measure pattern on loop. And I said that it didn't matter because the song was so funky. This time round, less funky, but more energetic and happy, if you will. Just have a quick listen again. That part, by the way, is, is very nice, how it just cuts out. And the bass line. And some other guitar chords in the background, but they're very subtle. So yeah, there's there's not too much going on, but it works so well. The fact that you had a bunch of impressionable 14, 15 year olds, you know, over 10 years ago being shown the chorus of this song, every single person in my class loved it. And you had people from all walks of life, different cultures, different music tastes. I think it says something. A follow-up comment that I received from the same person said that this is Crow's most streamed song. So I can see why it's popular. Let's carry on. <laughs> He's really promising everything to this the person whom he loves, isn't he? Yes! Alright, I'm gonna pause after this line. Two things stood out to me. Number one, he's rapping. He's a rapper, but it's kind of to a tune. In my previous reaction to Easy by him, I picked up on this, I said he's rapping and then he's also rapping but to a tune, kind of like sing talking, like Eminem does that a lot, I know. This time round, it is to a tune, especially the first bit. Like that's obviously to a tune. But this part, it's kind of got a tune, but not really. Like it's difficult to say exactly what the tune is, but he's, he's not just rapping, talking. 
he's not singing. It's like midway and it works so well. Number two, you'll see in my other videos I say a very catchy musical technique is when a repeated note happens or repeated two notes. It is catchy, it hooks the listener, it's not difficult to remember, you can sing along with it after hearing it once. So this whole section, following from my previous point as well, this time he is singing. <laughs> And then these lines, mit meinem Babe in, babe in der Hand und nem safe in der Wand. Mit meinem Babe in der Hand. He's like 80% singing, 20% rapping, I'd say. It just works really well and it's it's very catchy. It makes you want to sing along. Hats off to, uh, to, to Crow so far. I think the German language is so cool. I know a lot of people think it's very harsh, in England anyway, but... Some more simple technique of just getting rid of all of the music, just completely yeet it away, and then come back in. And it just works. It's a tiny, like the tiniest bit of variety you can get, really, but it keeps you engaged. <laughs> so catchy, so catchy. What do you say? Baby, do heist special? That's a nice. We're getting to the end of the song, so that's a nice outro bit here, I think. The outro with, with all those little laughs and sniggers. It creates a personal feel, doesn't it? Like, it's just a regular bloke who, who laughs as well. Well, all I'll say is thank you very much for that recommendation. Go back and read read the comment that they took the time out of their day to create. It's extremely insightful. Great song, that one. And I'm so, so happy that I now know what that song, was, uh, that song is after all these years. There we go. Crow. I'm going to just go out on a whim and say he's probably one of the most famous German artists out there. Let me know if that's not the case. As always, thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you'd like to see me react to any other songs. Would appreciate a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.